Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Chrissy. What's up guys? Welcome. So today, as you can see by the title, I have a very exciting video. So as you guys know, a couple of months ago, I did a shapewear review of the brand Shaper Mint. Um, I tried on their high-waisted shaper short and um, I loved it. I got a really big response from that video. So many of you guys um, wanted me to test out more shapewear so that's what I'm doing today I am testing out another shapewear garment from shape room it but I am also testing out a very similar garment from the company made in form a lot of you guys know made in form I'm sure a lot of you guys have shapewear from made in form it's a huge shapewear company and it's the company that I used to wear before I even discovered a shaper man I mean it's sold pretty much everywhere a whole lot of big retailers and if you haven't heard of it, it says where have you been? I don't know. But if you haven't heard of it, you're going to hear about it today. You're going to learn today. So today on this channel, I'm doing a shapewear wars. And maybe that's something that I'll do, you know. But maybe that'll be a reoccurring theme on this channel. If that's something you guys like and keep and want to keep seeing, give this video a big thumbs up or comment down below. So today I will be reviewing high-waisted shaper panties from both companies yes they're both in black you know that's the color i wear in my shapewear so i'm going to give you my initial thoughts on both of them by just looking at them first we have the shaper mint shapewear panty here we go yes this is in a size 3x the same size as i wore in my shaper mint shaper short um okay so already looking at it it's not as thick as the maiden form shapewear panty um it's not at all but i do feel like it has a good amount of maybe hold that'll give me some good hold and it does feel like it's going to be extremely comfortable just like the shorts were um right now the price point for this i believe is about 27 dollars. you know shaper man always got a sale child they always got like 50 percent off which is great and we love i love the fast shipping with shaper man um one thing i do love is that it stretches this way a good amount which means that it won't be too short for anyone that has a longer torso or anyone that has a good amount of you know lower belly cushion <laughs> you know sometimes things can come up a little short when we have that lower belly so already I like that about the shape of my short you know I have really high hopes for the shape of it brief because I love the shorts like so much you guys already know so next we have the made in form high waist a shaper short so already I can tell this one is thicker this one is thicker and it seems like it's gonna have just better control it's very thick you see and it has that good like you know um is it elasticity or you know that good you know it's stretch and goes back to form it stretches and goes back to form I know the term I can't even think of it and this one just like the shape room it has the silicone in the waistband which means that this is what keeps your shapewear up for everyone that's like I hate when my shapewear wore was down if you're not wearing shapewear with this in the waistband then I, I don't know what to tell you <laughs> it might not stay up it probably will roll down um, this one is in a 4x just by going by their size chart I decided to go with a 4x um, but this one I really like too um, it's really kind of hard to not like shapewear you know it, it all comes down to the try on and how it wears and how it actually does does it hold up to what it says it's going to do for both of these products they are tummy controlled so we're going to see how well they control that tummy and it's supposed to be firm and comfortable to wear so and those are the claims for both of them so i'm going to test it out as usual you know i have on something tight and form fitting you're going to see me without shapewear first and then i'm going to try on both of them individually 
and I'm gonna give you my first impressions and my thoughts and I'm gonna let you guys know which one I like the best at the end and I want you guys to decide as well but before we get started you know we got a little bit of housekeeping if you are here for the first time or you have been here before you watched a couple videos you know you like what you see and you want to join the family go ahead and click the subscribe button also click the notification bell next to it so that you are notified whenever I upload follow me on Instagram at Chrissy B Styles so you stay in the loop so without further ado let's go ahead and let's get started shapewear wars round one that's so <laughs> i'm embarrassed but you guys for real shapewear wars round one okay so as usual you know i'm gonna put on something very form-fitting so you guys can see the before and the after we're gonna see which one gives me you know the most suckage which one tackles the lower tummy best and we're just gonna see which one we like better overall so here it goes here it is no shapewear here's the front here are the sides here's tummy lower tummy booty everything here is the other side and let's get started okay so here's the first one this is the shaper mint high-waisted shaper panty um okay so let's talk about getting into it it was very easy because it's very stretchy but I feel like because it's so stretchy and um, less firm than I would like I don't feel like it holds that well like I think it did do I'm sorry I'm looking in a mirror I did I do think it did um, a good amount of smoothing but I don't know how I feel about like did it snatch me you know what I mean like do I look snatched in it um okay so then let's tackle the lower tummy area the lower tummy <laughs> I do feel like it got it intact just a bit um let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn to the side and let's see I do feel like there's a bit of a difference, but again, I do feel like it's more of a smoothing effect. It's kind of funny because I actually feel like bigger in this one. I don't know, like I, I just don't feel like it did much as far as snatching and holding. I mean, it did smooth a little bit, but I feel, I kind of just feel like, <laughs> this might not be the best analogy, but I kind of feel like a sausage. <laughs> it, it's casing, like it, it just doesn't feel like and I'm thinking, like, if I go up in size, will it work better? But then I'm like, no, because if I go up in size, um, this is a size 3X, by the way. If I go up in size, it's not going to do anything because it's just so stretchy. It's not, it's really not going to do anything. If I go down in size, it's just going to be way too tight, like, way too tight. So, um... Yeah, I would say this is my size for this garment, but it's just not doing it for me, you know? It's not really doing anything like the Shaper Short did, but, you know, we do have one more left. Hopefully, we'll see, and I, I don't know. Maybe when I compare it to the next one, it will be better. I'm not sure, but that's why we're doing this, right? So, we have one more left. Let's see, and we'll wrap it up by seeing which one wins. Okay, so here is number two. This is the Maiden Form Flexi's High Waisted Brief. And um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to get the negative out of the way. Um, so for this one, it comes with this like line across here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's kind of weird. It's sewn into it. Oh, it's right here. It's like this line and I feel like you can see it through the fabric I don't think it's you can see it that well on camera but I can see it as I'm standing here and I'm looking um, in the mirror but aside from that um, I just think this one has better control it uh, it just has a little better a firmer grip I don't know if grip is the right word it just has firmer control I think it gave me a, a little bit more snatch it a little bit more snatchage a little bit more 
snatch. I look a little bit more snatch. <laughs> a little bit more shape than I think the Shaper Mint one gave me. Um, let me just go ahead and turn to the side. I think it did a little bit more for that lower stomach area. I don't feel stuffed in this one. I don't feel like, you know, a sausage. I don't feel like a sausage in its casing. I really like this one and this one will probably be for more of like an everyday wear. It's not uncomfortable and this one comes with that kind of silicone rubber at the top too so it doesn't roll down. So I really like that. Um, I got this one off Amazon I believe for about $25, $27 about the same price point as the Shaper Mint one. Um, I'll check that for sure and I will post it in the description box below. But um, yeah, I like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts. I'm going to let you know which one I think one, even though I'm pretty sure that you can tell at this point. But um, I'm going to give you my breakdown of both of the shapewear garments and I'm going to suggest to you which which one you should probably purchase for your shapewear collection so keep watching okay guys so I hope that you enjoyed that little try on portion that little shapewear war situation um so let's let's just, let's break it down let's break down everything that I said prior so number one we started with the shaper mint high-waisted control brief um I did say before going into it that it seemed a little thinner which I think that they contribute to more of a comfortable feel and I could totally agree yes it's comfortable but I do not feel that it held the way that I wanted it to hit the way that I wanted it to hold it held me a little weird to be very honest um I I, I felt packed in like sausagey like I said I felt like it didn't do much if anything I kind of felt like I don't know I kind of felt like it made me look bigger because it didn't help my shape and that's what shape wear is supposed to be like clearly shape in the shape where it didn't help my shape I felt like I didn't love it I mean yes it was comfortable but um I you know what it depends on what you use shapewear for if you use it for just a smoothing effect maybe you'll like this if you use it for just a little hole maybe you'll like this but for me I like the snatchery I like the getting it together body like and this just didn't do it for me you know um but um yeah I I will have to give it five no I'm tripping I have to give it four out of five for comfort but i'm gonna have to give it <laughs> i'm gonna have to give it a two out of five for function for snatchery for you know actually doing what it says it's gonna do i mean uh lower tummy was still there i looked like a sausage in this dress i didn't love it i didn't think that it did enough so the price point for this one right now is $27.99 it is originally i think forty dollars it's like thirty percent off right now on shape Men's website so if you do want this one i suggest go getting it now while it's on sale but they kind of always have a sale so whenever you decide to purchase it it's there um i do however still um love shape work I do, however, still love Shaper Mint, um, but if you're going to purchase a shapewear garment from Shaper Mint, I would suggest the Shaper Short. You're going to get the most from your money out the Shaper Short, and if you're looking to be snatched and to just really have your figure accentuated, I would go with the high-waisted um, shorts from Shaper Mint. Um, that is your best bet, and that is, like, my holy grail of shapewear. Okay, next. Okay, so next we have... The Made in Form High Waisted Flexies um, Brief. This one, um, okay, this one is a lot 
thicker than the Shaper Mint one. Um, so this one I just feel like had better control. I love it because it's thick on the outside. It kind of has this like smooth type of surface. But then inside it kind of has this different surface. It's an extra lining which I really think helps with the overall tummy control component of it. Um, it does also have the silicones which again I love. I felt like it was just as comfortable to be very honest. Four out of five on, comf on comfort just like I I gave um shape from it only reason i'm not giving it five out of five because five out of five comfort is having nothing going at all <laughs> but um <laughs> but um the thing i didn't love about it is this kind of stitching down here if you can see that you see that line well let me hold it up you see this line down there yeah so i i'm not really sure the function of that i'm sure it serves a purpose in the design i just don't know what it is and i don't live for it only because when you're wearing something bodycon or you're wearing something tight that line does show so i don't love that i want an overall smooth surface under my outfit like i want you what if i don't want you to know i have on shapewear but when you see that line you gonna know i have on shapewear right yeah so um yeah I, I don't know about that i don't love it but what i will say about um high-waisted um briefs that are shapewear they are something that I would mostly wear with like a jeans and t-shirt situation. It wouldn't be something that I wear with a dress. The only reason I showed it to you with a dress on is so you can actually see um, if it worked or not. Because sometimes with, uh, if I would have put it on with pants or jeans, you may not have been able to see my overall shape or my overall figure. So let's just wrap this up with the winner of this war. I think you guys already know what I'm going to say. The winner is the Maiden Form Flexi's High Waist Brief. Um, this one won because I just felt like it looked better on. I felt like it did more of what I wanted it to do um, over the Shaper Mint panty. And I think it held in my lower tummy and just smoothed all that out a little bit better than the Shape Room It Penny. So as I mentioned, I did purchase this one off Amazon for $23. It was $23, which means it beat Shaperman in price as well. Like, what's better than that? I will, there are a lot of places that you can purchase made in form, but um, I did find it the cheapest on Amazon, so I will have that linked down below so y'all can get the deals, okay? So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I want you guys to comment down below which fit you liked best and which one was your favorite, which one won in your perspective let me know comment down below I also comment down below and like if you want me to continue doing videos like this I can do it on pretty much any form of shapewear from any brand if there's a brand that you want me to try out or you want me to do a little shapewear war video with let me know comment that brand below and I will do my best to make that video again if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe I hope you made your mind up after this video also, click the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys very much. Have an amazing weekend, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.